So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Dow for Living With Their Mess in Tenerife, and I'm here today with Kevin, the Scotsman in Tenerife. He's just checked into the Sunset Bay Club, and we're outside the Hair of the Dog, which is owned by... Becky. Becky, there you go. And um, so Becky has uh, sorted us out with a couple of drinks here. I've got the old Tim and Tonic, and uh, you've got a nice, a nice beer. Are you paint it this year? Paint, there we go, and we're going to have a fair. little bit of a chit-chat. I hope you guys can uh, like it. So at the moment now, I've got the 360 degree camera, which is this one right in front of us, and it's in between us, and uh, it's taking the close up of Kevin and myself, plus it's got my iPhone in the background on the slider. So this is the slider view, which is going left and right. You probably won't notice it until it goes past the lamppost and blocks me out, but uh, that'll be there in a minute. Hello, slider. And then right in the close up cam for Kevin, is uh, 4K, 30 frames a second, Lumix uh, GH5 Mark II, and it's uh, it's the first time I've had all these running all at once. So, Kevin, you're a guinea pig. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome. So, when did you arrive? I arrived on Monday night, Tim. Mm. Late flight in, didn't check in to accommodation until just after 10 o'clock in Los Cristianos. So, that was the first night. Okay, any problems? I've had, you few, want to tell? I've had a few problems on this trip, yes. <laughs> um, about accommodation, the viewers on the channel know this, have seen seen some of my videos. About accommodation in Las Americas, I couldn't find it. So then I had to book into another accommodation, which was the Playa Azul, which is just behind Tramp's nightclub. Oh, God. For some reason, I thought it was far enough away to avoid the noise at night, but no, <laughs> on the balcony. I've got a wee video at one o'clock showing you how loud it is, and it continued. Eventually, I fell asleep at half past three in the morning. Uh -huh. it's, it's a club 18 to 30 accommodation, oh, that's wow. all I can say. It, it would have suited me when I was 18, not now. No, no. Well, 18 about two years ago, then, Kev. Uh, just a few years just ago. Just a few years, few yeah. years. That's it, about 30 so years ago. So, you've been here for... I mean, you travel all over the place now, right? I've been going to a few different places. A few different well, places, yeah. yeah. And uh, is this like your full-time job now? I'm trying to build it up, Tim, so mm. maybe at one point, maybe in the future it will be, but it's going to take a wee bit of time, to be okay. honest with you. Um, I've got a few other kind of ideas for other channels on YouTube, testing different things, but I started off with the Tenerife channel, mm -hmm. and now just going a few different places. I just, remember when you started, yeah. and now you've sort of blown up out of all proportion, you've overtaken everybody. You must be uh, delivering the content that people like. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that, Tim, but it's thanks to you guys, and and other guys, um, the Mac Master, Daniel, the Crack Master, Rick and Shelley, all you guys give me a shout out at the start. Uh -huh. when I only had a few hundred subscribers. I mean, uh -huh. I, I really, I'll never forget that, and I really appreciate that, um, because it's so hard when you start up a channel to right. get momentum and get it going. Mm -hmm. Once you get to over a thousand, that can help. But then, as time goes on, you realise actually that the subscribers isn't the most important thing. Right. It's just people watching the videos. Exactly. Because most of the people who watch videos on YouTube are not subscribed to a channel anyway. I'm the totally opposite. I mean, I have my core people, so 70% of the subscribers watch, right. and I only get 30% of new, but that means that my channel doesn't grow. So but, you've got to get that balance. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard one because you, you'll get, um, you've got consistent but viewers that you know will, will watch your videos, and that's a good thing. And I think I'm doing that with a few other channels, but I'm not even asking people to subscribe now mm -hmm. and testing that out. Um, and it's quite interesting to see the difference between the two of them. So, so, where, so when you ask for the subscription, do you get more, or is it still the same, or is it is it an anti thing? You actually, I would think definitely you will get more, but at the same point, I've noticed the ratio on other channels, what per video, per compared to subscribers, you'll get more people watching it on a ratio basis on that one because everybody who's clicked the wee red button on that one really want to click the button because you've not even asked them right, to do okay. it. Yeah, so yeah. they watch it. So it's quite interesting. Um, I follow quite a few guys on YouTube that do marketing channels and quite a lot of them have got like a million subscribers, etc. And very rarely they ask people to subscribe to the channel. But I see people with millions of subscribers and then of course the, the, watch, the people watching, like uh, Russell, Russell Brent, right? Yeah. He's got 5.3 million subscribers. He loves telling you every every time he comes on, hello, you 5.3 million whatevers, right? And then you look at how many people are watching, it's like 28,000. Yeah. So, you know, if you've got millions and you're only getting 30,000 views on your, on your video, yep. okay, that's in the first day, yeah? Yeah. Probably there's going to be more. But, uh, I mean, I look, I mean, on, on my live 
shows. Uh, I got 5,700 subscribers and I get 1,200 views. Yeah. Between 1,000 and 1,200 views. So it's not a lot of views compared to MacMaster and stuff like that and other people, but it's just about right for me, you yeah. know? But um, I found that a lot of people, my subscribers like watching. Yeah. But if you look at the percentage of the subscriber that actually watches the, the video, or not even just the subscriber, the, the number of subscribers versus how many watches, how many uh, views you get, if if, he, if your subscribers are not watching, you, sh you well, I nearly said shit then, but there you go. <laughs> if your subscribers aren't watching your shit, who is going to? Yeah, you know? that's so. very true. There's, there's quite a few channels that I follow as well. As you said, they've got a million subscribers and they'll do live chats and they will have less people watching the live chats than you will on your live, exactly. live chats. Exactly. So it's, it's very different. I think from a business point of view, some of the other channels, people dip in and out. And, and you know they maybe watch it and then never go back to it. Whereas your channel, you've got consistent viewers, um, like every week. And obviously, everybody watching this has probably been a member of your channel for quite a while. And I know uh, that I've got a lot of people in my channel that watch your channel, and they watch all the other guys in Tenerife as well. So well, you come on and thing. support me. So thanks very much for that. Uh, no problem, no problem. No. I think it's good to support everybody. Everybody does something a wee bit different. Uh -huh. And the more Tenerife content that's on YouTube, it's the better for everybody yeah. because then YouTube will recommend it. You know, um, um, Lee just put up a video, I don't know whether he saw it, I think it went up last night. Yeah. He was saying, let's talk about the elephant in the room and why he's not going to come back to Tenerife and do it. He says, there's lots of us now. Yeah. And he's done that and he wants to go on for new pastures. And I, I thoroughly agree with him, you know. And uh, he, he was the guy that basically kicked it all off for us here. Yeah. And I, was, I had a channel with about 30 uh, subscribers, got to about 300. And then... Um, he came on and just introduced me to his crowd. Right. And everybody sort of clicks because he says, click on yeah. Tim's channel, you know? Yeah. Got, get him to a thousand, get him to a thousand. So they weren't even interested in what I was doing. Or some of them weren't, yeah. but they were just clicking the subscribe button. I reckon some of those are still subscribed, they just don't know, you know? <laughs> but then I, the community started and then it, uh, then it took off. And what Lee does is being done by a lot of different people now. So he has to either think of something really fantastic to do different. Yeah. Uh, or he's going to have to go from somewhere else, you know? And to come back and do the dollar pint and the English breakfast and jump over his camera, yeah? Yeah. A lot of people have asked him for that, but he wants to he wants to grow in as he I, wants, I, yeah? I, I completely understand the direction he's going now, yeah. but, I mean, he gave me a wee shout-out in the video, and I'll, I'll yeah. send him a wee message thanking him so much mm. for doing that. It was really kind of him to do that. But I watched these videos at the start, and I thought these videos at the start, when all the situation in the world was happening, I thought... It, they were great because everybody just wanted to see their favourite place in Tenerife. Exactly. And he done it in such a way. And now he's I always watch his videos, his titles, his thumbnails, his content, and you can see that he really takes a long time to think about it. Yeah. He's doing a lot of food reviews now that do really, really well. But for you know viewers wise, they're they're really, really good. Um, I loved his Vegas vlogs, loved them. He's done a lot in America as well. But I think I think he's right to move to different places, and that's why I've done something different. I've maybe made a mistake with the name of my channel because everybody associates it only with Tenerife. Mm -hmm. But I'm now picking up a lot of people who've been to Lanzarote, Fortaventura, Costa del Sol, even got my dad doing a few videos in Benidorm uh -huh. a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. um, so I'm hoping the channel will grow that way. Mm -hmm. and we'll, you know, we'll Are you thinking things. of rebranding to, to something else? I, I, I've thought about it. Um, I'm just not sure. What's, um, what's, your, what's your full name? My name, Kevin yeah. McNally. Kevin McNally. Yes. That you know, that's got a ring to it. You know, it's it's something personal. Yeah. Kevin McNally. It's, I, I, Scotsman I, in Tenerife. I, I thought about changing it. A few people suggested names, mm -hmm. and I thought about changing it. And then when I walk around Tenerife now and I meet people, normally the first thing they'll say is, so "There's a Scotsman." They associate the Scotsman uh -huh. name. So that that's what makes me think not to change it. Well, I, just put Kevin McNally dash Scotsman in Tenerife. The, the channel's yeah. got both in there, you know. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it's uh, definitely up to you. Yeah. But uh, I'm thinking of rebranding Living with MS in Tenerife, right? Right. And we did that because right at the beginning we were going to do things where I'd take Christina out and we'd show you wheelchair-friendly places uh, to go. But Christina doesn't want to go out anymore. Right. So basically, it's nothing to do with MS apart from the fact that it's it's nothing to do with MS, you know. It's um, so what, what you, 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 can have, you can have a good life, however ill you are. You yeah. know that's what we, that's what we like to show. Do so you think they change it something like, like Tim and Christine or something like that? Something like that, or just um, I mean Timothy Dowd was 
was what I was thinking, because I'm I'm like the the guy who drives it. Yeah, yeah. Right, and I, I wasn't. Uh, no, Rick and Shelley's done done good because it was that Ten Reef vlogcast, which was a mouthful for me. Yeah. And Rick and Shelley is great now, and I think that's pretty good. And that's good if, if people want to subscribe to Rick and Shelley, they know exactly what they're getting. Yeah. You know, and living with MS in Tenerife, they don't know exactly. They don't know what they're getting. And in fact, even if even if made it Timothy Ard, they wouldn't know what they're getting <laughs> anyway. But uh, but I'm thinking of rebranding that to. But I've got LWMST sort of tripping off the tongue, you know. Yeah, but yeah, uh, a, I don't know what to it's do. It's a tricky one. It is. But what I'm not doing is um, is I'm not doing it as a business. You know, I'm definitely doing yeah. it just for fun. And in fact, I can't earn any more money. You know, otherwise I'll be done for tax. Yeah, I think I remember you saying that too. Yeah, so I mean, quite happy that it's, it's quite a channel. But I mean, what are your plans? Are you just are you carry on doing what what you're going to do, or are you, are you thinking of doing something different? Or I'm, I'm going to go to some different destinations. Mm -hmm. But the same type of thing, walk around and show the people. I think, yeah, I think Tim, I'm doing what I'm comfortable with because I know that if I'd done restaurant reviews and all that sort of thing, they would get views. Mm -hmm. But I'm just not comfortable doing that sort of thing. Right. Um, so I think I need to stick to what I know kind of works sometimes. Mm -hmm. And obviously, it's putting a wee different angle on it. A couple of videos um, coming up, going to different places, and uh, maybe a wee funny story behind it or something that's happened. So I think it's just really kind of try to grow the channel. Obviously, I'm hoping that some of the Tenerife guys, when I go different places, will watch the videos as well, and a lot, a lot of people have. Um, and then I'll just, I'll think about it. You know, when we get to that stage. It's funny because it, it's hard to scale a YouTube channel, as you said, because although the subscribers have been way up, it's not really affected the channel. Okay. And views and everything, you know. So that doesn't, that that, that doesn't really make much difference. So mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to be thinking about it. We'll see when okay. forward. But uh, I, I think it's a great thing that we do anyway. You know, it's, it's just fun, really. Yeah. And you get to meet a lot of different people as well. That's I mean, it. the amount of people that I've met and the people who recognise you in the street. Yeah. So when you recognise people, you've always got time for them, right? Yeah. Suppose when you're famous, like, you know, whoever, <laughs> then, you, you know, you, you're going to have bodyguards and you're not going to let them near. But at the moment, we're, we're quite approachable, aren't we? Oh, of course. Every time I meet somebody, I just say thanks for watching the channel because without people watching it, I can't come back here. Yeah. And, and do the videos so yeah. I really appreciate everybody taking their time to sit down and watch it and, and I met a couple of viewers earlier on that are on holiday here and they're still watching some of the videos and they were saying oh that, that room you were in last night was shocking <laughs> and I said oh it was shocking I said I've got worse ones probably to come as well mm -hmm. so it's, it's been great meeting viewers I've met so many people um, and I've actually met people multiple times now so sometimes I meet people two and three times mm -hmm. so they just happen to be over the same time as me throughout the year, so it's been really great. Mm -hmm. We've got some people that uh, go to the channel and they were, in, they were there right at the beginning, you know, when I had like 300 subscribers. And I'll always, they'll always tell me where they are and I'll always swing by and say hello. But we started this Meetup Monday because it was getting, that was out every day meeting yeah. somebody, you know. Yeah. And I couldn't do it with Chris and uh, doing, you know, leaving Chris alone too much. Because although she's fine and she likes being alone, sometimes her foot will go off the, you know the wheelchair and she'll be stuck yeah or uh, the batteries will fall out the remote control and she can't pick them up so it's, it's something like that so we decided that um we'd have this meet up monday and it worked pretty well the way people were coming yeah in. but i what i learned there was everybody had a story to tell yeah and that's where i want to go with this channel now i want to go not that it's uh, to do with you know the dollar pint or the english breakfast yeah. or the walking round because that's well covered and rick and shelley did one last weekend which was a totally scripted um, visit to three places, right? Right. And it was one of those where you, you've got to film boiling the kettle, then you've got to move the camera, yeah. then fil film you pouring the tea, uh -huh. and then open the cupboard and, you, and the camera's inside you. Yeah? And it, it looks so effortless, the way you did it, right? Yeah, but, but it, it takes time for it that. It takes yeah. time and, and three takes and four takes yeah. and fluffing it. And um, so I thought that was really good. I, I went and I, I praised him for that. So I don't know whether I want to do that type of thing. Yeah. But what I really want to do is to put other people in, in the forefront, you know. So if you're on holiday, you can come over and if you, if you meet me or whatever, we can sit down and use this little camera here. Yeah. With two microphones and you can do an interview. You know, yeah. it's like a pocket thing, you know. I think it's always good to hear when I meet people. I, I say you're staying in Los Cristianos, so Las Americas. Mm -hmm. And then... Quite often people tell me the hotel they're staying in and I'll say, how do you rate it? Mm -hmm. It's good to get different opinions. Mm -hmm. um, I think people on the channel 
a lot of them are booked hotels maybe with free cancellation with the situation it's been the last couple of years yeah. so they've got flexibility with bookings so if they hear good reviews their mind is put at ease but if they hear the otherwise they'll say okay well maybe you think something else so I think it's just it's just trying to cover all those angles that's true that's true so um, what are you what are your plans for the rest of the week I've got family over just now in Los Cristiano so the plan is I'll go back I'll do some videos here tonight and tomorrow morning and then I'll head back to Los Cristianos. Saturday afternoon, we've got the big game on St Murn against Motherwell. So a what sport's that? That's football. Football. <laughs> well, sometimes, so, some people would argue it's not. Boxing. But <laughs> uh, so, probably watch the St Murn game in the Buddies Bar in Los Cristianos. And then I've got some more family coming over. And on Sunday, I've got a friend coming over who's here as well on holiday. He's a Celtic fan. Celtic are playing Rangers on Sunday. So I'll probably watch the football there. So Saturday and Sunday could be right, right off. So there could be no videos. Mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday, and then I'll do a wee bit Monday before I go back. Hair of the dog. Yeah, yeah I'll be hair of the dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. I'll wait Kevin, and see. it's a pleasure to, to interview. We've been on a, a, about 20 minutes now, 17, 15 really? minutes. Yeah. Right. And I'm not going to cut this too much. I'll cut out the the swearing or bleep the swearing maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a great pleasure to meet you every time. The last time we met, we were right on the front with the sun going down. That's right. That oh, was quite good. Beautiful, and yeah. I remember at that point, you weren't chatting too much in your videos. Yeah. And now you're getting a little bit chatty man, aren't you? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Because you're so, integrating the people. I, like, I really like that. Yeah, sometimes uh, there's a big difference when you when you speak in the video. I say this to some of the guys who've started videos, that I've met a few people mm -hmm. who started YouTube channels, and, and I, I tell them, go on the camera, even though you're nervous and you're shy, and, which I am as well, to be honest, but I says, the results will speak for themselves. I says, people like to see who's talking, who's talking yeah. and uh, it definitely makes a difference. I've done a wee poll on my channel. Do, do you prefer music or commentary? And I think at the moment, 83% said commentary. commentary yeah. So, like my drive arounds, I started doing drive arounds with the music in the background. Right. And then they said, why? So I stick my microphone on, I stick the 360 on the roof, I drive right. around and I just chit chat. And people love it. Yeah. People love they it. Do. Yeah. They do. They like a wee commentary where you're going. Definitely. I have to do more of that. Yeah, I have definitely. to do more of that. Drive arounds. Because that's something that not everybody else does. That's true. So, interviews and drive arounds. You heard it here first, folks. Well, my slider's given up the ghost. I think what it is, it needs to stay connected to the app. Right. And I'm using the app to run the phone and so and run the camera and do yeah. everything, so we'll see that. So that was a great test. Uh, thanks for being the first guinea pig on the Timothy Dowd interview channel or whatever it's going to be called. And uh, that's the, the best camera, so if you've got anything to say, say it into that camera right now. Yeah, I'd just, like right to, I'd just like to thank Tim for inviting me on his channel. He supported my channel right from the start and I mentioned his channel quite a lot in the videos and obviously if you're watching this on the Scotsman and Tenerife channel and you've not already subscribed to Tim's channel, consider subscribing to that. He's got some great content. As you said, he does different things. He's doing the drive rounds, doing the interviews and it's great to support everybody who's doing videos in Tenerife. So I'd just like to thank Tim so much for letting me come on his channel. Just going to get my wallet out now, I suppose. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you're very welcome, Kevin. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Tim. Cheers. Cheers. Roll the outro. OK, we're done. That's it. So I'll stop that one. I'll stop that one. I'll stop that one.